I'm from Soft Artisans. I'm going to shoot a quick screencast on how to create boot to VHD using the Windows Server 2008 R2 Media. Um, you can see in front of you that I've actually booted my laptop into the installation disk already, so I'm going to go ahead and proceed through the, the normal steps. So I'm just going to select the standard full edition here. Can accept the license terms. We're going to select custom, um, and this is the part where we need to do a little bit of extra work. Uh, so we need to launch um, the command prompt using Shift F10. And I'll try to move the computer a little bit closer. Let's see, so that you can kind of see what I'm typing into the command prompt. Uh, the first thing we need to do is, uh, is find a disk that we can actually install the boot to VHD um, or create the boot to VHD disk on. So we do a DIRC. Um, we can see that's not uh, adequate disk. It's actually labeled system reserve and we don't see any uh, disk space available there. So we'll try D. Um, we can see this is actually the, the directory where I have Windows 7 installed natively. Um, you can see there's plenty of like 300, almost 300 gigs of free disk space available. So we're going to go in that to that directory, and uh, list what's there. Uh, we're going to create a dedicated directory for our uh, boot to VHD. So the command is make dir, and uh, I'm going to call it VHD. Do another directory. Um, call. You can see a VHD was created. So, uh, so next we need to actually create the virtual disk. So we're going to go into disk part. And the command to create a virtual disk is create vdisk file. Uh, it's just going to be the location where we want to store it, which was in that D drive or the VHD directory. We're going to call it uh, 2008 R2 VHD. Um, the type of disk is going to be is going to be expandable. Um, the two options there are expandable and fixed. Uh, the the, fi the the fixed disk will allocate um, whatever size you give it um, and subtract it automatically uh, from whatever space you have available. So you'll end up with a 40 gig file on the disk that's not full. Um, the expandable disk will only grow as you need it to, so it's it's dynamic. Um, and the size, which is going to be the argument maximum, we're going to set it to uh, 40 gigabytes. So we'll put in 40,000 bytes, and then we'll hit enter. It's going to go ahead and create that disk. Um, and the next part we need to do is actually attach the disk. So we run the command attach vdisk. Okay, and we're actually um, finished up with what we need to do in the command prompt. So we go back to the um, installation window. You need to click refresh for the new um, virtual disk to show up. And there it is. It's going to be called disk one. You can see the free space is uh, just under 40 gigs. Um, you will see a warning that says that it cannot be installed to disk, but you can just ignore that. It will actually go through. So that's pretty much sums up um, how you create a V-Disc uh, or a virtual disc.